I'm Alan Spears with Occupied Democrats, and I want to go ahead and apologize because I'm going to have to once again subject you to Marjorie Taylor Greene's voice. MTG is once again in the news for talking out of her ass and doing her best to ensure that nobody likes her or any of the far-right MAGA Republicans ever again. Now, as of this recording, Dr. Anthony Fauci, the former director of the National Institute of Allergies and Infectious Diseases, is currently testifying before the House Committee. Now, Fauci is currently testifying about the origins of the COVID-19 virus, as well as the United States' response and handling of the situation. Now, we're not going to dive too much into the testimony of Fauci or the various ongoings of the subcommittee, but I want to direct us to the absolute reprehensible behavior of Marjorie Taylor Greene during this hearing. It is astounding to me how anyone could possibly vote for this vile, reprehensible slug of a woman and think that she is in any way qualified to be a member of Congress. She constantly launches these ad hominem attacks against Fauci, as well as many others who don't directly align to her ludicrous MAGA mentality and ideology. In the clip I'm about to show you, you're going to see how MTG absolutely behaves in such an unprofessional and undignified manner. She should absolutely be so incredibly ashamed of herself and the just absolute degeneracy she constantly brings into Congress every day she's there. And while it's not surprising really at all that Marjorie is absolutely making a total ass of herself and acting so unbecoming of a congressperson, I want you to take a look and see how Jared Moskowitz actually reacts to her and the absolute brutal response he had following MTG's arguments. You know that what this committee should be doing? We should be recommending you to be prosecuted. We should be writing a criminal referral because you should be cr prosecuted for crimes against humanity. You belong in prison, Dr. Fauci. Do you represent science, Mr. Fauci? I am a scientist who uses the scientific method to gain information. Yes, and you said you represent science. Do you represent science, Mr. Fauci? Yes again, or no? Yes or no? Um, I was not here, uh, but I saw a member of this committee questioned whether or not you represent science and tried to make that in some offensive way. I just want you to know most Americans don't think she represents Congress. I absolutely love what Moskowitz had to say about MTG, but I don't think he quite went far enough. Uh, so let's see if we can expand on this. Marjorie Taylor Greene is an absolute joke of a human being and has absolutely zero interest, clearly, in performing her job in some semblance of professionalism or keeping with decorum in the slightest bit. And I mean, you can see for yourself in both these clips that I showed and in really any instance she has the cameras or any sort of public attention on her. She is so clearly not interested in doing her job in any semblance of professional manner or trying to work with anyone outside of her own beliefs. She is so egotistical and so focused on just saying the most outlandish, insulting, and hurtful comments that she can because it gets her press attention. And while I hate giving her any modicum of attention and the spotlight, it should be noted that she is saying these insane things and that she desperately needs to be voted out. MTG constantly lies on the job and constantly lies even in her personal life, even when she's posting on social media. I saw those photos of you on vacation, Marjorie. I know you altered them. We already have a fairly dysfunctional government that we constantly have to push back against. The last thing we need to do is have to deal with this insane clown's ramblings. And let's not forget, too, how utterly disrespectful she was to Dr. Fauci on the stand. Regardless of your opinions on Dr. Fauci and his handling of the pandemic, this man worked day and night to try to come to a solution to pull this country out of a horrible pandemic that affected us and still affects us to this day to a degree. And he's a doctor. Let's not forget this. He has worked endlessly to try to better himself and his work and is an incredibly intelligent and highly educated individual. The same cannot be said for Marjorie Taylor Greene. As a side note, what's up with Marjorie constantly bringing these posters with printouts of like memes or random postings? Like, 
what why does she always have props why do you have props marjorie i feel like every time i see her and she's yelling about something she's got some weird prop or a printout acting like it's the smoking gun. It's so strange. The truth is MTG is nothing but a detriment to our country and a mouthpiece that spews the endless sludge and talking points of Donald Trump. She is a liar, she's a grifter, and she is just trying to tap into that angry energy that the far right has had for years now. Please, I implore Georgians and everyone in her district, please vote this woman out of office. She is insane. But in a little bit of good news, and according to a post that came through just now as I was recording this from The Hill, Marjorie was actually reprimanded by Representative Brad Winstrup, who is the chair of the House Oversight and Accountability Select Subcommittee on the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, now, this reprimand came as a result for Marjorie's refusal to recognize Fauci as a doctor, which, surprise, he is. He is Dr. Anthony Fauci. As Winstrup was reprimanding Marjorie, he said, quote, The gentle lady will suspend, uh, instructing her to recognize Fauci as a doctor. Members of Congress should not be trying to say the most radical or incendiary things to try to get attention or to try to come off as anything other than professional. Again, Marjorie Taylor Greene is an absolutely reprehensible individual and an absolute disgrace to our country. If she had any semblance of interest in our well-being as a country, she would absolutely resign right here and right now. But she's clearly not going to do that because she's egotistical, narcissistic, and just loves making incendiary remarks and fanning the flames of hatred and divide in our country. So until she recognizes that she is the disgraceful person that she is and she ultimately resigns or is voted out of office, we'll be covering her right here on Occupied Democrats where I'll be kicking her down a peg or ten.